Okay, welcome to day four or five. <laughs> I to literally don't even know what day we're on now, but uh, yeah, welcome. I don't know what, <laughs> what ridiculousness I told you guys I was gonna be doing yesterday. Uh, I think I was talking about doing like a mountain landscape kind of thing in the background, like a silhouetted mountain scape in the background. And I don't know why I said that because um, we're doing we're doing the red rocks in the background. I don't even know where my mind was when I was saying that yesterday. Um, I think I'm just losing my mind from kneeling on this freezing cold floor and my knees are gonna die. But it's okay because it's all in the name of insanely beautiful art. I'm, I'm in love. I'm literally in love. Also, um, I took a picture of my piece yesterday and I a grainy filter on it and it kind of made the top this dark part up here look like it had stars like the the stars were about to come out you know because it's a sunset um, and now that it's not there in real life I need it to be there so I think what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of white and like flick it onto the very top part here where it's like a dark blue so it looks like the stars are coming out i think that's gonna look really pretty because it, it looks plain now without it oh i think what i'm also gonna do i don't know if you can see this whole situation here um it literally looks like this hold on it's this <laughs> it literally it looks exactly like that um so i need to fix that and make this look way less like a finger <laughs> than it does so I think I'm gonna just like, that part where it goes in right here, I'm gonna round that off so that it doesn't look like a finger anymore. So what we're doing today is we're gonna flick some stars at the very top. We're gonna fix the finger situation. <laughs> and then I think right at the bottom here, I'm gonna do like kind of a dark gray, kind of give it some kind of foreground, you know, so it doesn't look just like a big block of black so i'm going to try to do a little bit of like a hilly foreground and then maybe some like grass you know shooting out from the hilly foreground and that's what we're going to be doing today i'll see how i feel about it after that
Okay, so we have our stars painted. They look amazing. I even like splatted some paint by accident, like lower down. So I turned that little splat into like a cloud. You guys saw that part. Um, and that looks really cute. I did some like little twinkly stars, which I think are really cute. Um, we've got our foreground painted. That looks amazing. I don't even know who's painting this. It's kind of crazy. Guys, I have not painted in years. So I'm, I'm kind of impressed with myself. Anyway, uh, so we have our foreground <laughs> painted and I even did some like tufts of grass, which looks really cool in my opinion, um, around like some of the taller rock. I did do like a dark gray to make it look like, you know, the, the light was hitting those rocks and it gives it more of like a, I don't know, 3D look. So instead of doing, cause I know I was saying I wanted to do like a little bit of glue and then do some like gold leafing on top of that. I think what I'm gonna do is use my gold leafing pen instead, just because I can paint over this in case I don't like it. Also, the glue is like raised and I, I just don't know how that's gonna look and I kinda don't want it to take over the entire piece or to kinda look weird and like stand out in a weird way. I think this will be really good. It'll be like, you know, same level uh, as the paint cause it's just like, it's literally a paint. So I think this will be better. It'll, it'll, be that. <laughs> it'll give us the same effect uh, so I'm going to do this. We're going to line like the bottom part of the clouds to give it like a golden glow. I'm so excited. And then after that, I think I'm basically done. I am going to like paint, I don't know if you can see the top edges, like all of the edges actually, um, with paint just so, you know, everything's kind of like rounded off to the sides. I'm going to sign the bottom and then we'll probably be done. But anyway, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. We're going to put this on and then I'll talk to you guys after. All right, guys, so this is the weirdest angle, but I did have to lay it down so that I could paint this very bottom edge and I need to leave it there so that it dries and doesn't scrape off if I like stand it back up. But with that, I have signed it in the corner there. I used that gold leafing pen um, to sign it and it's, it's done. And I can't even fully describe to you how much I love it. Like I, I feel like I poured my heart and my soul <laughs> into this painting and I needed this painting. Like I needed to do this and uh, I'm just in love with it. The gold lines under the clouds is so pretty. The entire like vibe of it is so like magical and dreamy. I feel like dreamy is what it is. It's just so like, I don't know, it makes me feel good to like look at it. With this being done, I am gonna let this dry and then I'm probably gonna come back later and bring it home with me and then we're gonna hang it up. So I'll see you guys in my apartment for when we like hang it up and check it out, but we finished it. It took me, I think this is the fifth day, right? I think it took me four or five days at least um, to finish this and I'm, <laughs> I'm so, I'm just in love with it. So anyway, I'll see you guys at home for um, hanging it up and seeing it actually like on the wall in my apartment. Okay, you guys, so <laughs> welcome to my living room. Here is this massive painting on the wall and it is, <laughs> it is magnificent. It literally like livens up this entire room. I mean, I have other things that have color in here, but this is just like explosive <laughs> color and it is literally it's honestly like one of my prized possessions now <laughs> I think I said that for the uh, like rainbow dots project that we did I feel like if you've been around for a while you know that I can't contain myself when it comes to rainbows I 
I love rainbows. I know this isn't rainbow. I know that, but it is, it is many different colors and it's just so beautiful. So when we were painting this, I did do like, you, I mean, you can still see it. I did it very like rounded. And when I was doing it, I was like, Ugh, is that too round? And I'm sure some of you were thinking possibly the same thing, like, oh my God, that's super round. But what I wanted to do with that was like kind of give it, you know, when like the sun is just about going down, there's like a roundish glow around it. That's what I wanted to do. And that's kind of why everything is really round. And this part right here, where you see the very like yellowy glow of just like the last little glimpse of the sun. I have no words for that. It literally looks perfect and it's exactly what I wanted it to look like. The round is, oh, it's so perfect. It's everything I wanted it to be. The stars are amazing. They're so pretty. I did go over them because I think I originally painted the stars with the white paint. And then I went over them with a little bit of gold. I can't remember if I told you guys that. This process has taken like a week, basically like a full week to do this entire project. And I honestly enjoyed every single second of it. I needed to do this painting. <laughs> One of my friends even said the same thing. Like, I feel like I needed this. I love this. I, you guys, I have not painted. I feel like I've said this like a hundred times in this video. I have not painted in years and I just I love blending colors together so that's why that's like the main focus of this painting but the mother freaking clouds those clouds those clouds are just <laughs> they're literally like one of my favorite parts of the painting besides like all the colors they're so freaking pretty the gold lines under them that we did with the gold paint pen are so pretty like you know when the sun is coming through this window here it's like certain angles and even the stars because like I said I put some gold over the stars too sometimes like when the light hits it really oh my god certain angles it's like oh my god like the clouds are like glowing it is honestly it's so pretty so my sister said that this still looks like a finger I think she said it looks like the middle finger which I kind of feel like is hilarious as long as it looks less like this <laughs> oh no Holding it up, it looks just like it. It looked more like this when uh, I hadn't painted like the roundish part on it. So, I mean, we're gonna go with middle finger because I think that's funnier. Looking at the viewfinder now, it still looks like this a little bit. Don't, don't comment that, please. Just say it looks like a middle finger because I can't have this in my apartment. <laughs> okay, so since this painting is literally massive, I'm gonna give you like obviously some close-up shots. We're gonna pan over different sections of it so that you can see close up what it looks like. And I'm also gonna give you a few moments to really like focus in on this because I know the camera is kind of focusing on my face right now. Uh, but we're gonna check it out as a whole and then we're gonna pan over certain sections so we can really look at the detail and check it out.
Okay, welcome back. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I need to know your thoughts because I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with it. And I genuinely, I needed to do this painting. It really feels like it. I love this painting. So I wanna know your thoughts down in the comments. I feel like this video is going to be extremely long. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman. <laughs> I love you guys to absolute death. <laughs> It feels weird to do that in my living room. <laughs> I guess I always used to do it in my living room though. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God, I can do it even bigger. Goodbye. <laughs> and I'm gonna do that after. <laughs> Who would have thought I could do this? I mean, I guess I did, right? Because I bought the canvas. Back to eating my chips. Hello. <laughs>